Here's Vivek Ramaswamy showing how good he is on his feet, taking a controversial issue like uh, women transitioning, LGBTQ rights, and just took it on head on. Watch. I don't have a negative view of same sex couples. I believe that we live in a country where free adults should be free to dress how they want, behave how they want, that's fine. But you don't oppress, you don't become oppressive by foisting that on others. And that especially includes kids, because kids aren't the same as adults. What's really happened, Sean, is we have a tyranny of the minority in this country. I refuse to say that that somehow changes the language we use, changes how women compete in sports, changes which bathrooms people use, and let alone change the way we indoctrinate our children. No, I stand against that kind of tyranny, and I will do it with civility. I will do it with respect for every human being. So you I know, think that's what's so impressive about him, because the way he's so brilliant, he's, you know, Ivy League educated. And when he responded to the, the individual who asked him, how do you feel about um, transgender? How do you feel marriage. about same sex marriage or LGBT, uh, who identified as, as pan? He was talking to that individual and he says, I don't have a negative view on same sex couples, but I do have a negative view on tyranny of, minor, of, of, of the minority. And you right. think, what does that mean? And he goes on to explain, I don't think somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with, or a woman who's worked hard for her achievements should be forced to swim against a biological male. That's not freedom, that's oppression. I think uh, the debates on Fox next Thursday night, uh, I think that's going to, so many people are going to see uh, the vague for the first time in this new light about how he is surging in the polls, and now people are interested in hearing what he has to say. And if Donald Trump uh, chooses not to show up, there's going to be a lot more about the other candidates, and I wouldn't be surprised. We know a lot about Ron DeSantis. We know a lot about Tim Scott. He's been on the program a million times as well. Vivek's been on, but a lot of, you know, the people watching haven't seen him. I bet he... Uh, my prediction is Vivek could actually be the breakout star of the debate. I think you might be right. And how about what he said? He said, look, they've all done this before. They've right. all debated before. I've never done this. This is going to be my first time. He said the first debate is not the end. It's just the beginning. So this will be something of a warm up right. for me. So just warning all of us, if I don't do great, this right. is just a warm up for me. But he says I'm not over preparing for You're this. Right. And he's but. a guy who's actually done something. He's built a business. He's made hundreds of millions of dollars. He's created so many jobs. A lot of people want to hear what he has to say. I, I also think it's important to find out if um, the front runner is going to show up and then how that changes tactics if he does and if he doesn't. So maybe he possibly turns himself in, which he's got to do before the 25th on the 23rd. You mean turn himself into uh, to Martha and Brett? Uh, first, he, first he has to go to, to uh, for Atlanta, Fulton County. For Georgia. And then By maybe Friday. he decides to show up and what change the narrative. Do you think he'll, he'll participate? Um, I what are think you hearing? If, it, if it wasn't for this turning yourself in before the 25th, I Which thought Which is Friday, be, the day after the debate. So I'm thinking if he's going to do it, maybe he decides I'm going to do it. You take your mugshot, you take your fingerprints, and then I'm going to show up. And then you decide where you stand on my four indictments and what happened today and the 18 others that had to do the same thing. So either way, he's going to be a dominant force at the at the debate. Well, he's already said, uh, you know, he hadn't made up his mind. He's already said uh, the second debate, which is going to be on Fox Business, which is going to be out at the Ronald Reagan Library in California. He's already said, I don't like the guy who runs that. So I'm probably not going to go to that debate. So if he doesn't show up for the first two debates, people are going to go, why isn't he, is he afraid right of something? Right now, Why he's in a good spot up? because Republicans feel sorry for him because they